guys, so I'm going to do the monthly birch box video um, for the month of July. I really like this box. It was really good. The first thing I want to talk about, though, is I made my first birch box per purchase with the 100 points that you accumulate through um, reviewing the products that you get in the box. Um, so I had 100 points, and I ordered this product because I am looking for a more organic, natural product. Uh, Face, facial cleanser, sorry I can't talk right now, um, a facial cleanser that's more like natural and I, I love the Cetaphil, it works, but it, it does have parabens and sulfate in it, um, which aren't the greatest for your skin, it doesn't affect, like it doesn't hurt my skin, but um, I do feel a little negativity towards that kind of thing, so I wanted to find something a little bit more natural, so I found this on the Birchbox website, and it was originally like $15.00 and then I had 100 points, so you get $10 off of a full-size product, and um, then it was like $5 shipping. So I paid $10 in total for it, but I got the Walita Gentle Cleansing Milk, which comes in a bottle like this. And it's a glass bottle. It's really, really high quality, and I don't really know how I feel about it. I've used it a couple times. I mean, more than a couple times. I've used it consistently for a couple weeks now. I don't like the smell. It smells very herbal with like, I don't know, it, it just smells very organic and there's nothing wrong with that because I am obsessed with the, um, let me get it, the um, Pangea Organics Facial Toner, um, which smells like lavender. This smells a little bit like that, but worse. It has like this weird, weird smell to it. Um, so it's hard for me to get past that. The, the cleansing itself, it doesn't really feel like it cleans my skin very well. It almost doesn't really do anything. I still find that Cetaphil cleans a lot better. It doesn't foam at all. It's just a nice creamy milk, as you would imagine, because it's called a cleansing milk. Um, I like it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. So that's my first purchase from Birchbox. I only paid $5 for it, so I don't really mind. Um, but this month was the Cynthia Rowley Birch Box. So when I saw this, it was so beautiful. I was so blown away. Look at that design. It's gorgeous. Like, I want to get a t-shirt that's just made of that tie-dye. It's really beautiful. Sorry my voice is a little weird. I'm still getting over being sick, as you probably know. Um, so let's see what is in the box. Okay, first off, I love the color of the paper this month. This, like, turquoise color is so beautiful. It's, like, it reminds me of the ocean, like, sea. Anyway, okay, so the first thing is a Redken product. It's Shine Brilliant Shine Flash Number 2. It's a glistening mist. I don't like the smell. It smells very weird, like, not like a hair product at all to me, um, although I haven't used it on my hair. Maybe I should try it, like, on my hair. I can't get it off. It smells weird. Anyway. Things are nice and shiny. I guess it doesn't smell too bad. It smells kind of citrusy. Um, next is a philosophy product. It's Purity. I've always wanted to try this. It actually smells really good. This stuff. It smells really good. I take everything I just said back about it smelling bad. Um, but I got a pretty good sized sample of the Purity. I've already used it once and I do like it. It reminds me of Cetaphil. The smell is really nice. I like it. Um, then there is an Ahava Mineral Hand Cream, which I'm not fully sold on these because of the smell. And I don't know if any of you have gotten this. There was another one in um, a couple birch boxes ago that... Um, was the water, is it like water on it? This is like the same thing. Um, I keep it at my desk at work because it is a really good hand cream and it, um, I try to moisturize my cuticles while I'm at, at my desk. So I keep it there, but um, it smells like an old woman. Yeah, it just doesn't, it kind of smells like baby powder and an old woman, so I'm not really 100% on the scent, but I do like it as a hand cream. I do use it, so I wasn't too thrilled about getting it in this month, but um, I will use it, so. Next thing I'm not really crazy about either is the Zoya nail polish size or sample size in Shea. And I like neutral color nail polishes, don't get me wrong, but this, I'm not a, a huge fan of frost finishes at all, but this has like a frost in it. The camera probably won't be able to pick it up if you can see, but I mean it's a really pretty neutral pink and everything, but the shimmer, 
I'm just not a fan of shimmery polishes. I either like glitter or cream finishes, not so much like shimmer. So there's that, but um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. And then probably one of my favorite things about what came in the brush box was this. I'm really excited to try it. I haven't eaten it because I wanted to put it in the video for you guys, but it's the Kind brand, which you can get at Starbucks. Um, this is the Fruit and Nut Bar Almond and Apricot. So I'm probably going to eat this right after I film this video because it looks so delicious. Probably going to do that. But it looks like there's actual fruit chunks in it, like dried apricot. doesn't look too granola-y. It's really soft. So it's not too, like, too much of a granola bar. It doesn't really seem all that healthy. So we'll see. It looks really sweet. I'll let you know how I like it. But that's everything that came in the birch box. So it's pretty exciting. Um... I mean, not too many exciting things, but it was a good box. I got a couple of good things, and then I shared with you the purchase that I made. I'm going to be making a purchase here soon, and so the next month um, I'll have another little mini review in the beginning, like I did with this, um, for another product that I am going to buy full size that I got in a box um, in the past, so I'm going to be buying it full size. So that'll be in the beginning of the next video. Let me know if you want me to keep doing my purchases through Birchbox um, in the videos. I think it's helpful because they sell a lot of products on the website and it kind of helps you know what's good and what's not. So yeah, and as far as this goes, you can find any cleansing milk that's probably just the same or better. Although it is inexpensive for what it is, so that's nice. I'll probably use it up, but anyway, that's all for my Birchbox. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.